Seven months ago, I found out that Victor was cheating on me. The girl he was with actually messaged me and told me, hey, we're together now. We don't need any ex-girlfriends. It wasn't like he just slept with her. Like they had an entire relationship. Ellie said even though Victor cheated on her, she still want to leave everything behind to go be with him and possibly bring him to the U.S. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm Ellie, I'm 45 years old, and I live in Seattle, Washington. In my neighborhood, I'm known as the Pizza Lady. <laughs> I own and operate a pizza restaurant here in Seattle. When Ellie was 20 years old, she got married, and soon after she got married, she lost her husband from a drug overdose. After losing my husband in that manner, it's been hard to open up my heart completely to someone because of that fear of losing them and going through that process again. A couple of years ago, Ellie went to a trip in Colombia and then she met Victor, who's 38 years old from a small island named Providencia. definitely some like immediate chemistry and tension like oh my god this guy is such a dreamboat he was so cute he does look hot and he didn't want to let her go on the last day of my trip i had all my bags packed i was ready to go and then he just like showed up he was like please don't leave so I ended up extending my trip for two more weeks. Since she visited him many times, she felt like she should file the K-1 visa, bring him to the U.S., and get married. I had been back to Providencia a couple times, and Victor and I just really wanted to be together. So we both decided that we wanted to get married and have him come to the U.S. Ellie feels that since the coronavirus is holding her back, so she's gonna move to Providencial to be with Victor, leave everything behind, including her business and everything she built. So I'm packing up my life and I'm moving to Providencia in one week. But the biggest thing I'm giving up is my restaurant. The restaurant is a big part of my identity. It's just like been my home base for the past seven years so giving it up is huge her friend think that she's taking a big risk risking everything for a guy she barely knew or someone she just spent a couple of weeks with you're leaving everything behind for somebody that essentially cumulatively you've spent 100 days or so with right I was a little bit surprised to find out that Ellie was going to give up the entire restaurant for Victor and for the idea to move all the way to Providencia She's leaving a lot behind. She's built a great life for herself here. And kind of leaving it all is, uh, it's a big gamble. She's even doubt her decision whether she's doing the right thing or not. It's a little bit in the back of my head that, you know, is he using me for financial reasons? You know, it could be possible because this is a huge risk. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But... I love him and I just want to take this chance and I think it's worth it. Her friend think that everything she's doing it's extreme and crazy because Victor cheated on her with a woman, possibly more. She was sending me photos and screenshots of their texts. After that, he stopped denying it, but he put most of the blame on her. Like, she tricked me. She trapped me. I was lost. I didn't know what I was doing. All that kind of stuff. That's what a narcissist would do. Victor was apologetic, but Victor lied to Ellie. And Victor lied to this other woman. And that kind of manipulation is, is not a one-time offense, in my opinion. Yes, Victor is definitely a manipulator. It just seems so deceptive. And it's hard to just like... Say like, oh, with a couple sorries, you're willing to just be like, oh yeah, of course I will just you know, 
don't move there for you. You're you're doing a lot for him. Yes, the friend is definitely right. She's doing a lot for him. She said she broke up with him, but he keep on bothering her to return to him, and she believe him. I did break it off with him, but he kept on trying and trying, and mm -hmm. I mean, he seems sincere. Mm -hmm. um, and that's good enough for you. Well, it's enough. Like, I want to give it a shot. Her friend think that she shouldn't just sell her whole life away for someone that just cheated on her and manipulate her at the end. If this guy was like 100%, I'd be like, wow, that's so exciting. A little fast, yeah. but pretty exciting. But I'm like, oh, cool. You're going to sell your whole life away for this guy that completely lied and cheated on you. I definitely agreed with her. If you can lie to two women like that, what else are you lying about? What else are you lying about? What else is going to come out later? Victor might be a married man if he's lying about cheating. I'm giving up a lot to move to Providence, yeah. But I love him, and love makes you do crazy things. <laughs> she thinks that even though she's giving up a lot, she loves him, and she's not backing off from her trip or from giving him the K-1 visa to come to the state to marry her. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you think that Victor is using her to come to America to get his paper. Do you think they will last? She's only 45 and he's 38. So unless he's a big player, let's say, I think they would last. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, click on the notification belt. Whenever I upload, you will be notified. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.